Little Hummingbird 17FD from Haywood RV just cruised in here. Uh, 2,885 pounds, and if at any point you folks say just on YouTube or something like that, or curious to know what they run, or if we have one available, i leave you a link in the video description. It also has a bunch of trailer specs there for you. And by the way, it doesn't matter where you live, there's no such thing as being too far away to work with us. If uh, you enjoy this video, all we ask is you give us the opportunity to earn your business, because that's fair, and we've earned it. Um, so. What is this thing? Why is it here? Who's it for? Um, they've done a very good job of maximizing every square inch on this thing. And when you've got over, what, 40 years of experience like Jake, oh, you find a way to, um, you know, be a really best-in-class type product. And there's a lot of things on this thing uh, that are, are not matched by anything else in any sort of similar category. Right off the bat, the warranty. You know, pretty much any time you see a Jayco, they've got double the warranty of anyone else. And in this category, they are completely unrivaled in that respect. Um, the color package is something that actually has been so popular, it's uh, kind of trickling through the Jayco series. And I see other uh, lines of trailers from other factories sort of catching on to that. This is a six and a half wide narrow body camper. Uh, it's ideal for like minivan use, especially coming in on, uh, you know, safely under that 3,000 pound mark, 2885. Uh, this means that you can see around it going down the road because it's actually not wider than your vehicle. It's actually slightly more narrow. Um, and the full smooth skin on this makes it slipstream down the road easily. So it just, it handles nicely. You don't get that crazy headwind and you can see around it when you're parking and changing lanes. There's also no rubber roofing on this. This is uh, actually the only Jayco towable uh, trailer that does not, uh, as opposed to motorized trailer, that was stupid. Uh, the only uh, trailer that they build that does not feature their Magnum Trust roof system. The whole profile of the trailer just works in a way that that doesn't quite, you know, jive essentially. It's still perfectly structural walk-on roof. That's not an issue. It's also a full one-piece fiberglass front-to-back roof. You should actually see how they put this together because, you know, they put the floor down, they put the sidewalls up, and then the entire piece from front to back is is all you know one big chunk of fiberglass with uh laminated sections here and there uh to help keep the weight down and the structure up on it um, also helps a little bit with insulative quality we like to upgrade these to the full size air conditioner but that is an important conversation to have that this does have some things that are not standard on it so again that link in the video description there folks at home that can help you see what we have in stock how it's equipped and what we're asking uh you know because this could be different from the one that we have in stock um a couple little quick things to note over here we do have a full outside shower connects to the water heater and that is a normal water heater not just like a, a shrunk down gas only water heater it does have gas and electric with fast recharge capacity so you can get uh just shy of 18 gallons per hour on that thing uh you know same as any big bunkhouse camper just in this little bitty guy so you know showers you know running hot water and sink all that's possible uh, here's the best in class thing. Jayco's power awning they have on this also has a, uh, a multi-color, multi-function LED uh, remote control light strip under it. It uh, has like 16 different colors and a whole bunch of different strobe and fade options. So if you're looking to induce a seizure in your neighbor, this is the awning you should be purchasing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the little table here actually comes with it, which is really cool. Uh, it, you know, it comes with an indoor, outdoor, well, I guess you don't need it indoor, but a, a picnic table, and it's all just a resin top. It's plastic, so uh, you don't have to worry about weather getting on that thing and causing it to sponge and swell and die. Uh, and right next to that, we've got outside TV hookups and your low-profile outside speakers, and I stress the low. A lot of brands like to put the speakers up high so that you take note of them. When people are shopping, they look up. When you're camping, you look down. This is built for camping, not for selling. But by being built for camping, it's actually built for selling. Isn't that just an interesting conundrum? Um, so uh, if you uh, choose to add a second TV, uh, we've added one uh, as an option inside, but this is a, a different type of TV mount. You can uh, set this up out here for an outside TV with your little plugs below. Now that little sticker down there, I don't know if you're reading it, the key alike thing, your baggage doors, your uh, entry door and deadbolt 
uh, and uh, well, I guess rear baggage compartment as well. It's all one key. You don't need to juggle a whole, you know, medieval jailer's uh, set of keys. It's all just on one thing. Now there's a big chunk of outside storage back here under the bed, and you see that even in the pass-through storage, well, uh, pardon me, not pass-through, but outside storage, we have uh, LED lighting, and I like the little, you know, click, little activation series that they have there. Let's hop inside for you. Even though it's a single plank uh, step, I do like that it's the aluminum. Yeah, it's just a little brighter at night and uh, easier to see, you know. They don't slip as much and they're a little stronger. And did you notice how that door kind of opens slowly on its own? The door is on a strut. That way the door doesn't slam open. That way it doesn't smash your awning sideways. That way it doesn't damage stuff. That way you don't have a repair bill. They kind of think of all that stuff ahead of time, you know. Um, get the door behind me here. This is uh, the 17FD, FD standing for front dinette. Um, this is also the granola decor, so it's, you know, high in fiber and good for cholesterol. But uh, more topically, uh, it's uh, a very popular decor option that they have here. There are different decors available, though, so again, this could be different from the one we have in stock. This is a very, very, actually this is the most popular layout in the world of teardrop campers. Because you get this big front dinette with the cross breeze windows that can fold down into a bed that can comfortably sleep a couple kids. Um, you know, it could probably sleep a couple adults because uh, this thing is just wide enough to be able to sleep, you know, normal people. There's also outlets there, outlets there, so whether we're charging phones or CPAPs, because you got a nice little stand here if the front bed needs to be used for CPAP use as well, you can do that. Um, standard convection microwave oven, because uh, you don't really have space for a normal oven here, so they give you a two-in-one sort of thing. And I do like the little detail stuff like the overhead doors are strutted in your uh, hummingbirds. It's that extra fine detail stuff you don't get in all these. And all of your cabinetry, by the way, is pocket screwed, not stapled together. We do have a three-way refrigerator that does have a freezer pocket. So if it's popsicle o'clock, you guys are covered, roger that. And if you notice... There's a good chunk of counter space behind the sink and the stove. And not coincidentally, there is a power outlet back here. So you can have your little, you know, blender for margarita 30. We've got toaster type stations. Actually, there's enough room right here. You could have an electric griddle going and, and cooking right here. You could cook up a storm in this little thing. And it is nice that they do give you space for silverware. And that is plywood constructed and full extension. So it's easy access and can last you a long time. Now this little sucker right here, that is an extra drawer I've not seen in any of the other similar floor plans from other brands. And this is the third brand of Teardrop that we featured at our, at our store. So, I mean, I've seen them. I've seen all the major players in this market. And there, like I said, there are a lot of things in this that are not matched. What is nice too, notice how there's no carpet other than the carpet square that I'm cleaning my feet on currently. Um, so it's going to be real easy to clean. Sweep it out, Swiffer it out, you're done. Back here, they have the same Simmons Beauty Sleep mattress that they have in like, you know, a North Point fifth wheel. <laughs> yeah, there there you go. You've got some best-in-class bedding action going down there. And again, you've got power outlets, including that little green light is a USB double plug and a nice little stand there for a traveler's CPAP or just a phone charger. And again, breeze windows for the bed. And I like the little cargo pockets that you're seeing. It gives you a nice little place to slot your phone at night, but keep it close by. Um, the bathroom here, this is a, a, a wet bath, which is where you have a combination shower toilet. Not most people's preferences, but it's insanely space efficient and does an amazing job. Now the switches for that light and fan are actually outside, which may seem strange, but considering you could have water splash around there, one, you don't want, you know, plugs or uh, switches, but two, you can sit here and just kind of lean over from bed and click the fan on and get some nice airflow going, which is pretty cool. Um, entertain, oh, by the way, this is where that table slots. So uh, the table actually stores inside. You don't have to give up outside storage for that, and it's out of the way if you're not using it. No big deal. Uh, if the Hummingbird we have in stock has an optional TV, this is where you'll find it. And notice that it comes with that big double-jointed swing arm. You can swing that thing right around. You can have some uh, evening entertainment right there with one TV. Uh, most uh, teardrop brands... They just give you a flat-mounted screen, and it's okay. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. This is just an that's that's extra money that they're spending there, guys. You have to under, uh, start to recognize the slight differences in how those define brands. Most trailers do about 75% of things the same. It's that 25% that truly is your identifying differences. All in one, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player. You've got all your you know. I like that all your important controls. They're up high. 
So let's say grandpa and grandma or mom and dad, if you got just a little one bopping around, they, they can't reach stuff to mess it up. Because uh, I can tell you that happens, and I can tell you from personal experience, because I burned up my grandfather's water heater once when we were dry camping, because I wanted to know what the red button did. That's a true story. Um, give us a call. Learn a little bit more. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, again, we only do everything. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, accessories, and everything in between. Truck and trailer package deals. Don't care what it is. If uh, you need it, we got it. We can do it. We'll make it happen. All we need is a phone call. That's it. That's all it takes to get this done. And uh, if we don't earn your business, if you call and you give us a chance and say, hey, I'm shopping around, I found this deal or that deal, can you meet it, can you beat it? If we can't, that's our fault, not yours. But if you don't give us that opportunity, you could be you know, giving up thousands of dollars that isn't necessary. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.